Joan Bakewell took the terrifying cancer diagnosis in her stride and, even after 12 sessions of grueling chemotherapy, the 90-year-old is still reluctant to spend too much time napping. I've never been ill at all, I don't expect to be ill, the committed career woman, who has been working steadily for over six decades, revealed to the mirror. After the bad news came, she allowed a sense of calm to sweep over her. When you're my age a lot of your friends have died already. Dying is on the agenda, it's waiting for you, she mused. Allowing herself a joke, Joan chuckled, at my age a lot of people you have known have died. So I thought well if they can do it, I can do it. Ever practical. The first thing the journalist and labor peer instantly did was put in a telephone call to her daughter to explain, you ought to know my will is in the third drawer down in the desk. However, after a successful operation to remove her colon cancer, and a subsequent series of chemotherapy doses, Joan's prognosis seems to be good. In fact, she's confident about her life expectancy, and despite having just entered her 10th decade, she's hopeful that she has another 10 years of life left. The cancer was discovered quickly, during a routine colonoscopy, before intense symptoms had time to take hold, and now she has returned to feeling years younger than her true age. She insisted in her recent interview, I don't feel 90, I live life as the rest of my colleagues do. Dot from her early years onwards, Joan turned out to be a pioneer becoming the first female in her family to stay at school and ending up with a scholarship for Cambridge. She married television producer Michael Bakewell, and although she had two children to care for, she also presented the BBC's late-night lineup show four times a week. At that time, the programming was under the control of the now iconic wildlife documentary maker David Attenborough. Back then, Joan had a penchant for mini skirts, pioneered as a popular style by the late fashion designer Mary Gwant, and she has no regrets about her attention-grabbing looks. It was made possible by the invention of the tights, she chuckled, before adding, I did like clothes. That's not changed, 